This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2005 Ford F450 regular cab utility bed. Obviously du dual rear wheel. Extremely low miles, 56,930 actual miles. Um, it was a uh, fleet vehicle belonging to Clear Channel, Channel Radio. Um, they do billboards and radio stuff. Um, it was one of their fleet trucks. Um, they turned it into a remarketing service after they're done with them and uh, we bought it It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's also four-wheel drive, which is rare um, XL trim package, but uh, somebody's recovered the seats. So now it's got uh, cloth seats instead of vinyl, which is also nice the utility bed from the beginning of the bed right here to the end is 12 feet long and the width is eight feet wide the total truck length from the very tip of the bumper to the front bumper of the truck is 22 feet why does that matter for shipping um i like to let people know uh what it is so if they're going to do their own shipping if we're not going to do it for them um when they buy it that they know what they're what they're shipping okay you also have a headache rack but that's not super high that ladder rack up there it's not too high so it's really not a factor but all right so there's your lock door there's your unlock door i'm gonna fire this guy up believe it or not we still need some ac here in tucson not 56,930 is the mileage there okay This truck is sweet. First thing I always do when I bring them in is I take them into that garage right there, that bay there, and uh, put them up in the air and pressure spray the undercarriage and leave it there to see if there's any leakage and there wasn't. Um, now, that being said, it's a diesel truck, it's an 05, so <laughs> that will not be permanent for sure. Um, anyway, here's a sticker. There's Clear Channel, uh, uh, which is that, the company that owned this thing on, uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. So that's where it came from um, also here's how we bought it so it's on a green light green light uh, means that uh, mechanically it's guaranteed or your money back including shipping they don't green light something unless they know it all right because then they would have to pay us it costs us seven hundred fifty dollars to ship it from uh, Riverside California here which is apparently Riverside is where the clear channel sells all their stuff even if it's from Arizona which is crazy. Um, anyway, there's the mileage, 56,926. There's the VIN. This is the condition report. This is what we look at when we're buying them online. There's your VIN. Uh, bah, bah, bah. No ARB for fluid leaks. They always say that on diesel trucks, even a brand new one, because diesel trucks are like that. <laughs> uh, guaranteed, that's the green light part. This whole thing, all, all this stuff is scanned into the file, so you'll be able to see it in detail. This is a page you might care about in the condition report, the tire condition. They're very high rubber Goodyear tires, which is great. Um, let's see, here's the uh, auto check on the vehicle, vehicle history. There's your VIN. No state title brands, uh, no auction brands, no accidents, okay? No accident, great. And it's an Arizona truck, which means obviously no rust. No water, no rain, no rust. All right, let's see. Let me look under here real quick, make sure there's nothing hiding there. Somebody recovered this seat, which is great. This is kind of an Arizona thing because your butt gets so freaking hot. They probably recovered it and it wasn't even torn. Open the hood. They probably just got tired of having a hot ass. Turn signals, windshield wipers. There you go. First of all, you want to see these emblems, these Ford emblems, so you know that parts aren't replaced. So that's the original fender. That's a later, that's a newer battery, which is nice to see. You also have a stamp right there, and you got a stamp right there, and you should have another one right there. So hood and fenders, four sport, all original. Obviously, it matters. Take off the uh, oil. We're looking for blow-by, and I see zero blow-by. Which is typical in fleet vehicles, because they usually take great care of them. I did notice on this hood, 
There's a ding right here. Not that anyone who's buying this truck is gonna care about a ding, but a couple scratches here. Uh, my brother will take uh, uh, 60 or so HD photos. Uh, if cosmetic matter to you, which it usually doesn't on these trucks, but if it does, go through the photos. You even have a little thing saying, truck inspe inspection completed this week. <laughs> Weekly inspections, that's funny. Uh, there's a manual. There's a little clear channel outdoor thing. So this is a billboard truck is what it was. Because clear channel out, outdoor does the billboards. So there you go. You have some uh, carriers here for uh, gas tanks, probably cutting stuff. Uh, cutting torches type of thing. Very high rubber. Those are extremely high rubber tires. That's great. Pretty much the same on both sides. Take that down. We didn't even send this to detail. We just sent it uh, to detail for a uh, for what we call a mini, which is just a, a wash, basically, because uh, we didn't want to waste. It's two hundred twenty dollars for a detail, and it's eighty dollars for a wash. And uh, this thing didn't really need a, a detail. A, because it's a work truck, and B, because um, it's pretty clean. Tires are great. Make sure it's closed. It's kind of cool little step. Help you get stuff up on the ladder rack from both ends. All right, let me get in here, get some AC. It's freaking hot, man. Real warm. All right, seatbelt on. All right. All right, so then you got seat tow haul here. You got that on, off, right? Tow package. It says check trailer when you do that. Obviously, there's not a trailer, so you just clear it. Air conditioning is blowing ice cold, thank God, because it's freaking muggy and warm right now. Radio. Let's see the website. DollarRecall.com. There you go, there's a radio. Uh, la, 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 la. You got cruise control, but you can only work them on Fords when you're actually moving. So when we get on I-10, I'll do that. Um, neutral. All the way back is four low. Now we're at four by four low range. That's drive and reverse. And by the way, the beeper is going off when I'm in reverse. So, okay. Neutral. Now we're going to go to four high, which is one click back from all the way forward. And now we're in four high. Out the gate in four high. Now we're going to go into reverse. Boom. That's four high. Neutral. Now, boom two-wheel drive the shifting is very easy to in and out of four-wheel drive I'm gonna turn the hurricane down so you can hear me it's freaking blowing ice cubes in here right now um, all right if you come to Tucson to drive this thing home you're gonna pay the following you're gonna pay your state tax rate whatever that is plus our city tax of 2.7 percent and a $250 dock fee um, if you pay by wire and ship it out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you. We will scan it in your online file and we will mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope, we mail it in, okay? Um, you will have it shipped to you. Uh, the title will already be in your mailbox when your shipper shows up with the truck and you'll just go to your local motor vehicle and get plates. Now. If you buy this vehicle and you need help with shipping, uh, we can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the truck, and we can, uh, and I can do the shipping for you. Okay. Now, if you're going to do your shipping yourself, remember the facts that I gave you. Okay. You've got a dual rear wheel, 22 foot long bumper to bumper uh, truck that's eight foot wide at its at its widest point on the uh, on the utility bed. All right. Very important if you're going to do your own shipping, you know what's going on. 
Um, let's see, what else? I think that that's about it. Um, huh. Ba, 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 ba. About that. What else we got going on? I think that's funny. <laughs> Truck inspection completed this week, question mark. That's classic. That's pretty anal. There's a little tear right here in the visor, by the way. Um, what else? Last part of every video, I say the same thing every single time. Uh, on every vehicle we've ever sold. We don't have salesmen, we don't have bottled water with our name on it, we don't have a fancy location with hundreds of employees running around, so we don't have to pay for all that stuff. We pass that savings on to you so that on day one, you can be the owner and feel good about repairing whatever's broken, okay? Now, this truck clearly has extremely low miles, obviously very well maintained, almost new set of Goodyear tires on it, very unlikely something bad's gonna happen to it. If you keep it out of a lake, don't rear end a semi. Um, change the fluids and filters once in a while. This thing's gonna go forever, okay? But if by chance something is to break, and since we don't have windows and power windows and power mirrors and all this stuff, all it can break is transmission, motor, air conditioning, brakes, right? Uh, on a 56,000 mile diesel truck, they're all great. But if something were to break, you're fixing it with the money you're saving. We give you the upfront savings. We don't crush you so that you can fix your vehicle and still love the purchase you made. If you're that guy who wants to steal the truck from us <laughs> at a great price and wants us to fix his truck, you are not a customer we want, all right? Um, that's the bottom line. Uh, we don't have anything for you. now. If you're one of those people who's like, holy crap, I can't believe I just sold this, bought this truck so cheap, um, and it decides that the radio is gonna stop working or a windshield wiper is not gonna move or whatever, and you're just fine with that because you saved a fortune, that's the guy or woman, all right? And, uh, but if you're, if, you're, if you're a baby and, you know, the radio stops working for whatever reason or, you know, like, the windshield wipers decide not to work someday, you know, whether it's the first day you own it or 10 years from now, you're going to get a big fat go away from us. That's part of the deal, all right? Otherwise, we'd be fine uh, giving warranties for, you know, two or $3,000 a year um, and uh, charging you that much more money when you buy it. But uh, I think you'd rather have your money up front. I would. And uh, I would be able to appreciate the deal. Bottom line is, it's a hell of a truck. We're on I-10, we're doing 75. Let me see if I can set the... Okay, no foot on gas at all. Cruise control works fine. Boom, had to turn it off because we're getting off the interstate right here. We got on I-10 at Prince Road. We're getting off here at Ruthroff. My videos can be 17 minutes and 38 seconds long. That's how long the SD card and the GoPro allows. So my goal is always to do these videos and make it all the way back to the yard in time, but uh, highly unlikely, highly unlikely. Usually it takes almost zero traffic to pull that off, but uh, I try. Yeah, this thing runs great. A very nice truck. It's very obvious when you've got a vehicle like this that uh, runs runs like this that it was very well maintained and they spent a fortune on those damn tires i mean god they probably spent twice what you what you need to just so they could have good year on it you could buy those tires for a set of those tires for maybe eh, about eleven hundred dollars if you go off brand they went on brand so got two grand Hell of a truck. You can tell when they're when they're actual miles when all this stuff isn't rubbed off. You know, when they get to about 80, 90,000 miles, all the numbers start wearing off from touching them on the radio stops and stuff. Like here, we'll start showing damage. That dash is brand new. We have a uh, 2007 F550 that was a truck that, a flatbed truck that uh, was at Disneyland. And all it did was move uh, Disneyland carts, like ride carts, 
around the park at after hours, after they closed. It has 6,000 miles on it. People are like, no way. And yes way. <laughs> that truck, when you look at the pictures of it, we have it online right now also, you'll see that the interior and everything looks just like this. I think the only reason they did this seat, honestly, in this thing is because it's Phoenix and it's 120 degrees and they got tired of sweaty ass and burned ass. <laughs> so they put a cloth seat in it, which uh, is a good idea. Okay, uh, for a uh, very stiff suspension F450, it actually has a pretty nice ride. And for having a utility bed on it, they put it on correctly because it's not rattling around at all, which is also unusual. Usually you get all kinds of noise back there from a you know, flat bed or a utility bed or <coughs> anything aftermarket makes a bunch of noise, but apparently they paid to not have the noise. <coughs> huh. Well, there's a chance we're gonna make it back. So I'm gonna get my phone out and get ready to open the gate here in a minute. See, so I got my phone out. Let's see. Let's see, I got my little open gate thing in my hand. We might make it back in time. This is school here. Usually there's a cop, a sheriff sitting in here. Yep, see there he is right there. And, uh, I was out here giving parents tickets for hauling ass through here, so I don't think I want one of those. I'm pretty sure that uh, the uh, crosswalk tickets are gigantic. Anyway, we're at 16 minutes and 45 seconds, and uh, I don't know. We might actually make it to the gate by the time this thing's over, but at 17 minutes and 38, I go away, um, and that's that. So this is from a standing start, right? Boom. Just jumping on it right now to see how it shifts under full acceleration on the pedal. This thing runs great, really good, outstanding for a big heavy truck. Probably weighs eh, about uh, 11,000 pounds, is what I'm guessing it weighs on this thing. Anyway, we're not gonna make it, we're at 17 minutes and 30 seconds but we're on our street. We're turning on to Gardner Lane. Anyway, that's all. Thank you for your time.